Nick Train buys British after lamenting sobering lack of homegrown brands Nick Train has initiated a stake in a UK company for the first time in nine years despite remarking on the sobering reality of the dearth of valuable British-owned brands. Train's eponymous investment boutique now owns a £12.2 million stake in British consumer goods firm PZ Cousins. Data from Refinitive shows, representing a 1.6% stake in the business. Annual results for Train's Finsbury Growth and Income Trust published yesterday show him having built up a £4.2 million position in the FTSE 250 company by the end of September. Train teased the new investment in his portfolio manager's review, telling shareholders he had been slowly building a position in a company that has been deeply out of favour for a number of years but stopped short of naming the stock. The acquisition of shares in Imperial Soap Maker PZ Cousins marks Train's first investment in a UK listed company since purchasing pub group Green King in 2010. Train, who is known for his buying and holding a concentrated crop of stocks over the long term, hasn't invested in a new company since 2017 when he bought shares in Manchester United. Before that he picked up shares in spirits maker Remy Quintro in 2015 and four years before that snapped up a stake in Heineken. Lack of valuable UK brands makes for sobering reading trains investment in PZ Cousin is surprising considering comments he made about the lack of valuable UK brands at roundtable event at the Association of Investment Companies earlier this month. Train pointed out there are only five British-owned brands in Interbrand's 2019 rankings of the top 100 global brands, a fact he said was disappointing pointing and made for sobering reading. I know what you're saying about the value in UK small cap and manufacturing, I think it's absolutely right, he told fellow presenter Laura Fowle, who is co-manager on the UK-focused Lowland Investment Company. And yet for us as franchise brand investors, I just think it's so disappointing that there's only five British brands in what Interbrand thinks are the world's top 100 most valuable. Train said the problem is historically British companies have been too quick to sell. Partly it's because we sold Roundtrees to the Swiss, partly it's because we sold Cadbury too cheaply to the Americans, said Train. We haven't understood the value of these brands, but it's sobering reading to realise how few brands we have quoted in the London market. Train grows own stake in FGT elsewhere the FGT annual results revealed Train had upped his personal stake in the investment company to £25 million after snapping up over 620,000 worth of shares over the year ended the 30th of September. FGT significantly outperformed its benchmark the FTSE all share during the time period with its share price up 17.4% against the index's gains of 2.7% and yet recently Train has warned TH for more on this story. Visit the news article link.